I scope out uh, Lowe's and Tractor Supply every so often looking for items that I can use for ham radio that were meant for other uses. This is a bag of wood post insulators. It has this graphic. American Farm Works is the brand. I found these at Tractor Supply. It says use with poly wire, poly rope, and steel and aluminum wire. So I thought I'd probably use these to run cable. So what they are is these little insulators. They're made to mount flush to something and have a nail driven through it to hold it in place. They have these wire locks on the back of them. After you've strung your cable, you put this on it and it locks in place. Now this is 12 gauge wire and it passes through it pretty freely. So what does RG58 do? RG58 slides in there very nicely. So you could use this to run your transmission lines if they're RG58 or similar size cable. Anything bigger isn't going to go in there without uh, crimping the cable some. But I actually thought that it's possible to drill these out to a bigger diameter so you could get a slightly bigger wire locked into these. But I don't think you could ever modify this for RG8. At least these two end pieces. It might be possible to drill a hole here. You wouldn't be have to be centered. It'd have to have openings on the end. But you could drill out a hole that would let you lay RG8 maybe with a zip tie holding it in place. But it was a very interesting connector. So I went ahead and bought a bag of them uh, at eight dollars for 25. They're not that expensive. And RG58 fits in there very well. So I could use this to run my transmission line. I've got some 6 gauge ground wire that I need to run between the grounding rod for my new um, AM radio setup to the grounding rod for the main house. And I thought that I could use these to run along the seal of the house, keep it up off of the ground, and that would just about fit in there. It's stranded cable and it's a ground cable so if, if it did get compressed it wouldn't matter wouldn't affect it so I got a couple of uses for these after I actually use it for that I will get back to you and give you an update on how they actually worked when I use these I'm probably going to paint them black instead of yellow yellow is going to stick out like a sore thumb around a house they might not look bad uh, along the fence line but at the house I don't want them yellow so I'll probably spray paint them black uh, the house is white so they actually might be spray painted white whatever makes them blend in better so I've got a couple uses for these and after I actually use these uh, I'll get come back with an update on how they actually look in service so 25 for $8 uh, thanks for watching